do it the way your body takes to it the best. What's up guys, welcome back to my channel, XOXO Shiba here. If you're new to my channel, hello and welcome. And if you're an OG subscriber, what's good? Welcome back. It's been a minute, it's been a long time. We have pushed in a year, it's not quite a year since. But it's time for me to give y'all a fitness update video. I had to go back and regroup. And now I'm back and I'm better than ever. Better than ever before, really. I did a video around last June, July where I was talking about body dysmorphia and having a distorted body image. That distorted body image really held me back. Like, it was, I don't know if anyone can relate to this, but it was like... You know, I couldn't really appreciate how I looked until it was months later and I look back at those photos, I'm like, wow, I look fine. But at the time, all I could see was my imperfections. And I did the same thing in my weight loss and fitness journey um, from when I was doing it before up until last year. It was like I could never really appreciate the results I was getting because I was always fixated on what else I wanted to work on and the things that I wasn't happy with. I could never celebrate the wins enough, you know? So in realizing that, I got burnt out after I went to Cancun last summer and I went hard before I went on that trip. And um, I think that was just like the last straw for my mental health and my body. They, we were just like, no, nah, that's enough. And not that I was actually doing anything bad to my body, I was actually doing great things for my body, but mentally, it wasn't right. Health and fitness should be an act of self-love, not me punishing myself for not being enough. It shouldn't be a breeding ground for your negative inner voice. And I was letting it be a breeding ground for a negative inner voice. So I took a break. After four years of being extremely consistent, I was like, I'm gonna take a break indefinitely. I don't know for how long, but I knew I needed to reset. And through this reset, I really figured out the easiest way for me to get and maintain a healthy lifestyle. So basically what I did was let my body rest. I did not do anything as far as eating and exercising goes that I did not want to do. If I did not want to go to the gym that day, I didn't go to the gym that day. While I wasn't trying to overeat necessarily, I let myself have what I was craving because I never just freely let myself do that over the past couple years. I would maybe eat what I wanted, but I would feel guilty about it. And like I said, you know, that mindset with everything, even though I was doing good things for my body, just wasn't right, just went healthy. So I gave myself a period to just be free, do what I needed to do. And um, I paid for it. I can eat what I, the amount of calories I can eat because I was always in the gym, you know what I'm saying? Especially if you lift because you burn calories, you know, even after you leave the gym when it comes to weight training. So me still eating like I would normally eat, but not working out like I would normally work out. Eventually, your girl ended up gaining 20 pounds. Cause the other thing too is, I wasn't checking the scale. Like, I was just like, I'm done with it all. And even though, you know, I'm not, I wasn't necessarily trying to gain 20 pounds, I'm all right with it. I'm, I'm actually happy about it, and I'll talk to you about why. Having gained weight, it actually gave me a chance to redo fitness the right way from a mental standpoint. So now as I'm doing these things and I'm starting to see the changes in my body and new changes I've never seen before even at that, I'm celebrating my wins. I see like, oh, I see muscle tone in my legs, you know what I mean? Or I see how my hourglass is now starting to come in because of my lifting routine with my trainer. Like I can appreciate those things instead of focusing on, oh man, I still have this far to go. I still see, you know, this area that I was trying to change. I focus on the changes that I'm seeing in a positive direction now. And I know that's probably like a given to some people, but I had to get there. It was a given to me, but to actually really feel that, it took a second, but I'm here. So essentially, back to what I was saying, what I eventually ended up doing was just letting myself work my way back into fitness. And that took me, I would say, a total of six months, so basically the other half of 2020 to really reset and refocus when it came to my fitness. Around November, I decided to go ahead and do a training app with my gym because beforehand I was just doing uh, my own thing most of the time and it was okay, but I really wasn't getting a ton of results doing my own thing like that. And then when I started getting back into the gym, I was like, let me take some of this uh, 
some of this pressure off me. So I ended up signing up to do the online training that we have at our gym, Barbell Queen, shout out to us. But I ended up signing up for that because it just gave me the workouts and I just did them. I didn't have to think about what I was doing when I hit the gym. I literally just would open the app and do what it said. But I didn't get truly consistent, I would say, until I started really getting consistent in December, but then I got COVID. So I would say I truly got consistent with it mid-January and I've been going hard and being consistent with ever since as long as you know I wasn't out of town or something was going on if there's no reason for me not to be at the gym I'm at the gym but I can just tell such a difference this go around like a thing that really made it easy for me is and it will help if you're looking for ways to make it easier for you to pick workouts you like don't focus on trying to kill yourself trying to push yourself to do things you don't want to do you don't want to make it a mental challenge make it easier on yourself pick something you like. So that's what I had to do. I had to reassess when I did all of that and say, hey, I don't like cardio. I don't wanna go upstairs to the cardio machines. They won't see me. I don't like it. I'm burnt out of it. I don't wanna sprint no more. I'm done. But I really do enjoy lifting. Even on the days that I don't necessarily want to go work out, it's not too much of a hassle for me to go hit the gym and do my lifting session. So when I say things now like, oh yeah, I'd be in the gym, you know, five, six days a week, I'm I'm doing things that I actually genuinely enjoy, so it's not a daunting task for me to go hit the gym. And that could be whatever for you. Like, if you want to go to Zumba and you want to dance and you don't want to feel like you're working out, do what you need to do. Just start there. Stop putting all the pressure on yourself. This is to me first, but stop putting all the pressure on yourself and just do what works best for you. And you'll start to add on over time. I did. Even in my first go round, I still had that same mentality. Like I just started out with what I could handle. Start with what works for you and go from there. So when it came to my eating, I um, I tried actually starting to count my calories. Uh, I didn't drop them super low, like to 1200 or anything. I dropped it to like 15 or 1600 calories, maybe 14 at the lowest, but I just, it wasn't, I wasn't feeling it to keep up with my fitness, but I'm gonna have to do all that either. So I decided to try intuitive eating, which is basically when you eat when you're hungry and you stop when you're full. Which I also feel like it's great for me because it's helping me practice mindfulness. So that way I'm not like just eating and I'm not thinking about it, which we tend to do a lot. I know I do it like watching Hulu or watching Netflix or something while I'm eating. It's helping me to like, you know, slow down, enjoy the food. It's giving my body enough time to let me know if I'm full or not. Diet wise for me right now, I've really just been just trying to buy healthier groceries. I don't have a certain diet. I, I can technically eat what I want. I just try to make good decisions for my body. Like last week and this week actually, I bought edamame spaghetti noodles at Aldi and I love those so much because they really do seem like spaghetti noodles. Look like spaghetti noodles, but they're made of edamame. But because that was so low in carb, not necessarily on purpose, that's just what happened. It actually ended up helping my body transform um, pretty drastically, like within a week. Like I went to, we went to Hilton Head as a family vacation for my mom's birthday uh, at the end of March. And I noticed myself, and my mom told me later too, she was like, yeah, I know she was getting a little bit, a little bit fluffier. But I wasn't gonna say nothing, I was gonna mind my business, I was like, appreciate you. But literally like within, by the end of the next week, everyone who was around me could actually see a change in my body. I did not do that on purpose, I was literally just, you know, making healthier decisions with my eating. But what was actually like the best part of starting to see results for me was the fact that like, I didn't kill myself to get it. I wasn't starving, wasn't miserable. It literally was a lifestyle and then everything else just fell into place. And I was like, yeah, this is this is what I want to feel like. So for me now, I'm I use the scale again, but I'm not it's not like a huge metric to me. It's just like a, a nice little gauge. Cuz with me lifting, I'm also putting on muscle too, so I don't expect the weight loss to come very quickly. I'm more concerned with how I actually look. I've been drinking my water. I'm trying to work my way up to drinking a gallon a day again. I really actually like that, but I just hate having to go to the bathroom all the time. And um am I doing anything else? Oh, I'm paying attention to my hormone levels. So I, I noticed a difference in my last cycle. It might be TMI, but it might be helpful to somebody else. It was actually just a very easy cycle. Usually mine are the worst. Like it takes me out of the game, cannot work like the entire time. Like it's just, I'm done. This time it really did not interfere with my life like at all. I was shook. I think that has a lot to do with me. Um, I won't say making sure cause I really can't tell without any type of measurement but trying to be consciously aware of getting rid of excess estrogen because that can actually lead to 
hormonal belly and I don't know if I have that or not but given that my uh, cycle can sometimes be you know pretty rough I was like maybe there is something to that for me I'm not sure if that actually affects me in any way but just in case so I've been taking my vitamin C I've been taking my fiber I've been getting zinc from the high protein meals that I've been eating y'all know I love gauge girl training she gives so much great information but she just actually recently did a video talking about like the things you know that are good for you to help um, hormonal imbalance and get everything in order you know typically for me I would say in the past I've been the type of person to want to lose weight and lose it quick. I want to see the transformation. I want to see it now. Granted, I do have the body type to where I change really quick, so that's nice. Well, sometimes it's nice. Double-edged sword because I also change the other way really quick. But my point is saying that this new me, she's fine with, you know, transforming my body as it happens. I'm not trying to rush the process or manipulate the process. I'm just doing the things that I need to do and letting my body do what it needs to do the way that it needs to do it. So I guess that was a long-winded way of if you want any advice from this video, do it the way your body takes to it the best. Make it easy on yourself. When you make it hard, you probably aren't gonna finish. But that's my fitness update so far. I'll be back to let y'all know. I might show y'all some workouts or something. I don't know, what do y'all wanna see? Let me know. But anyways, I will see you guys in my next video. Bye. You know, you know, you know.